welcome to The Buzz. My name is Lottie. And I'm Tinsley. We will be your hosts for this morning. Please join us for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our student-friendly mission statement. At RHESS, we are creative, we are kind, we are fun and we are smart. Today is November 11th and we are on a day full rotation. For lunch today, we will be having pizza and salad. salad. We want to wish a Hornet happy birthday to Aliana Bell and Camly Tice. Have a great birthday, girls. Today is Veterans Day. We want to thank the veterans in our RHES family, Officer Cook, Ms. Ledbetter and Mr. Nelson, thank you for your service in our country. Check this out to find out more about Veterans Day. Number 11, your order is ready! Fries, soda, six-piece nuggets. Number 11! Prepare for the best nuggets in history! It's time for Nuggets of Information. Let's talk about Veterans Day. Do you know what Veterans Day is? Veterans Day is a special day where we celebrate all soldiers, whether they're actively serving or retired, who've served this country. Not to be confused with Memorial Day, which is a special day where we remember and honor those soldiers who lost their lives in the service of our nation. Did you know there are now six branches of the U.S. military? The Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard, and the newest branch, the Space Force. They exist to defend our freedoms and keep us safe here on the land, on the sea, in the sky, and even way, way up above it, in the stars. The first Veterans Day was November 11th, 1918, the day World War I ended. In 1919, over a hundred years ago, President Woodrow Wilson proclaimed November 11th as a day to honor our veterans. It was originally called Armistice Day because it was the day Germany and the United States signed the Armistice Agreement. An armistice is when enemies agree to stop fighting. That makes Veterans Day a celebration of peace. The name was officially changed to Veterans Day in 1954 by President Dwight Eisenhower so that it included veterans of all wars, not just World War I. Other countries recognize this day too. Australia and our neighbor to the north, Canada, also honor veterans on November 11th, but they call it Remembrance Day. Great Britain celebrates Remembrance Day, but they do it on the Sunday closest to November 11th. All of our soldiers fought side by side in the First and Second World Wars. It's very important to recognize the sacrifice and bravery of our soldiers. Without them, this country might be very different, and we might not enjoy the freedoms that we do today, including cheeseburgers. Those are good. So if you see a veteran or if someone in your family served in the military, make a point to thank them for their service. You don't even have to wait until Veterans Day. It's always a good day to tell a soldier thank you. Every one of us owes our veterans a lot. Number 11! Uh-oh, gotta run! This has been Nuggets of Information, Veterans Day Edition. See you all again soon. And remember to thank a veteran today. Whoa, those nuggets are spicy today. <laughs> Order number 11! Now it's time for the joke of the day. What part of the room is the warmest? I don't know what part of the room is the warmest. The corners, they are 90 degrees. Thanks and have a great day!